the one of the core appeals of fighting game of a fighting is the character. Game is yes, well, it's it's the fact that you're you're playing a genre where you have almost unrivaled control over the character, like literally mm-hmm. individual limbs, right? You can mm-hmm. control them. And that's people, that's yo, you just blew my mind right there. I just never thought about that before. Well, like well, when, that's insane. When people like people become so insanely devoted to a character, like. Like they almost, there's almost sort of like a fusion between their own personality and a, and a video game character. There's like, right. there's such a synchronicity there, and people get incredible. Like, but man, if you ever, for example, like I remember once when I when I criticized some elements of, of Nina's gameplay design, the reaction to that was stunning. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> but like, people get incredibly invested. In these characters, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and like they get invested, not just because you know the, the the base reason is because fighting games are a genre where you have unsurpassed control over a single character, but also because like at least in the past, these characters had like motivations, backgrounds, histories all fleshed out, thought out. Nowadays, it sort of feels like these things are an afterthought, mm-hmm. and I think that's a massive mistake. That's a massive, massive mistake. It, it, it misses one of the core appeals of why people like this genre. Like, which like, is why the tactical yeah. shooters and stuff that have been coming out lately are so popular because they are focused on the archetypes. Every character does a very specific thing and they have a very different look to let you know the tank is the tank and the healer is the healer, you know? Yeah. 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 Just throwing that in characters, there. Characters run fighting games. They, they mm-hmm. are at the base at the core of their appeal you can play as this cool character and do cool looking things that is you know and everything else is, is service to that really like of course there is like the element of you know you can play as this cool character you can do cool looking things against another person right like th- this 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 core appeal of a fighting game is still so ingrained in culture actually like have you seen the episode of black mirror where it's like um (laughs) yeah right this is crazy it's like (laughs) (laughs) yeah that's right you're talking about fighting vipers right (laughs) yeah fighting vipers right but it's like when people think video games one of the main genres is still fighting games Right. Yeah. It, to me, it's a disappointment that they're not much bigger than they currently are. Cause they certainly have the potential to be. Because the actual core idea is very, very appealing, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it just hasn't been capitalized on. And there are some no-brainer things they could be doing. And it's it's very clear and easy to understand. It's beat the, beat yeah. up the other person, which yeah. which kind of is like kind of makes a legacy out of a very you know age old pastime <laughs> which is beating you know the pulp out of somebody else you know and yes. uh you know you don't have to actually get in a fight you can kind of explore the notion of a fight through this amazing piece of art that you know a team of 100 people worked on or whatever so right. yeah it's definitely um it's definitely way under I, I don't see why street fighter for example considering that it has you know one of the most uh one of the most famous legacies i don't see why that's not like top three most popular esports titles in the world. Like, there should be no reason why Street Fighter is not the most talked about, the most trending game. It makes no sense to me. Yeah. I, I, it's so easy to understand. There's two people fighting on the screen. They both have a super ability. They have a certain amount of health. Time's going to run out. What is so hard about these games? Meanwhile, these MOBAs and like tactical shooters and other games, which are far more complicated, you have no idea who has the flag. Those games have the hugest sets, the hugest stages, esports arenas. Meanwhile, Tekken is like, you know, being completely forgotten about. It's bizarre. Yeah. It's 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 bizarre actually that the finding games are at a fraction of the um viewership or spectatorship of, of these games when I think that much more spectator friendly. They're much more flashy and exciting and dynamic to look at. And like instead of teams, you have these core personalities. Like there are so right. many interesting personalities in in fighting games and i always like a, a little hobby i have is like comparing the player to the character and, and seeing what what parallels there are it, it's so fascinating like like when you think of tokido you immediately as, associate him with goki or akuma like you can kind of see the parallels between how he thinks as a player and that character 
So, and that stuff is cool. That, that stuff is yeah. super, super cool. Hey, thanks for watching. Which character do you feel connected with and why? Let me know in the comments below. And a huge shout out to Arcade Press for taking the time to interview me. You can check out their newsletter and podcast in the description. Have a good day all, and I'll catch you on the next one.